Back in 2011, the world got a glimpse of what was truly possible over the marathon distance. At the 114th running of the Boston Marathon, Jeffrey Mutai clocked an astounding time of 2 hours, 3 minutes, and 2 seconds, smashing the previous world record by almost an entire minute. With half marathon splits of 1 hour 1 minute and 58 seconds, and a second half marathon split of 1 hour 1 minute and 4 seconds, this performance took the world by storm, and it ushered in a brand new era of distance running greatness. Well, kind of. Because despite the fact that Mutai had just achieved the single fastest marathon performance in the history of the event, this incredible performance was not an official world record. And the reason for this is because Boston has a net downhill that exceeds the allowable limit. If you compare the total elevation change of Boston to the Berlin Marathon and the London Marathon, you can see clearly and immediately that Boston has much more changes in elevation. From the start of this race to around the 16 mile mark, you're looking at a total elevation loss of around 450 feet, which is nothing compared to mountain running, but it is significantly more than any other marathon major. The psychological effect of this immediate drop leads to some pretty ambitious running, from Ryan Hall taking out the pace early in 2011, to Yuki Kawauchi dropping the entire field over the opening miles. This special course is the perfect stage for marathon drama, and despite the fact that Jeffrey Mutai's performance from 2011 is still over two and a half minutes faster than the next closest winner, this year's Boston Marathon is currently set to be an even faster kind of race, and it's almost guaranteed to showcase incredible drama. For this year's Boston Marathon, the Elite Field is currently slated to race on April 17th, and it is without question one of the greatest fields ever assembled. On the men's side, we have last year's London winner in Amos Kipruto, a 2 hour, 3 minute, and 13 second performer. We also have Evans Chebet from Kenya, a 2 hour and 3 minute marathoner, who also won New York and Boston last season. And we also have the GOAT, Elliot Kipchoge, the world record holder and legendary name in the marathon circuit, who is set to race in his first Boston Marathon. Among these three, they won five out of the six World Marathon Majors in 2022, showcasing complete dominance and next-level endurance whenever they hit the roads. The fact that all three of these athletes are competing in the same race is already a pretty exciting prospect. However, there is also the possibility that another athlete will be competing against these three, and that athlete is Kelvin Kiptum, also hailing from Kenya. Now, the reason that Kiptum is such an exciting prospect in this race is because in last year's Valencia Marathon, he ran the fastest debut marathon of all time, achieving a time of 2 hours, 1 minute, and 53 seconds, joining only Kipchoge and Kenanisa Bekele on the list of sub 2 hour and 2 minute marathon performers. If Kiptum were to run in this year's Boston Marathon, his battle with Kipchoge would likely yield something extremely special. But regardless of whether or not he does run, these elite entries are already aiming for something incredibly quick, and the course record of 2 hours, 3 minutes, and 2 seconds is certainly in danger. For 2022, Kipchoge won both the Tokyo Marathon and the Berlin Marathon, both in quite dominant styles, running times of 2.02.40 and 2.01.09. These two times would both be faster than Jeffrey Mutai's course record, but again, their elevation maps are quite different. However, Kipchoge's racing style that he has implemented over the previous few years is almost perfectly suited for a quick time in Boston. In both Tokyo and in Berlin, Kipchoge opened his first half very quickly, dropping times of 1 hour, 1 minute, and 3 seconds in Tokyo, and a blistering time of 59.50 in Berlin. For pretty much every single marathon race of his career, this simple but effective strategy has proven almost impossible to take down. And if he does anything like this in Boston, he has a tremendous chance at not just taking first place, but breaking 203. However, there is one additional piece of information about Boston that completely changes everyone's racing strategy, and that's the fact that no pacers are allowed to run in Boston. Now, the fact that no pacers are allowed does slow down the overall potential of a marathon, as the pacer's job is to run a certain speed for a certain distance. But even when pacers are not permitted, Kipchoge has also proven nearly unbeatable, given the fact that he is now a two-time Olympic gold medalist in the marathon. With these three athletes from 2022, this year's Boston Marathon is looking unbelievable. However, 
this is not even the most exciting news about Boston, because just a few hours ago, the women's elite field was officially announced, and well, it is looking absolutely spectacular. For this year's elite women's entries, we have a total of nine athletes who have broken two hours and 20 minutes, which already makes this race one of the fastest marathons to date. But in addition to these sub-220 athletes, we also have a total of 16 athletes who have broken two hours and 21 minutes. This kind of depth in one race is rare. In fact, statistically speaking, this is the deepest and fastest field ever assembled in Boston. So if there were any year for the course record to go down, it would most definitely be 2023. Now, the course record on the women's side dates back to 2014, when Buzanesh Deba ran a time of 2.19.59. This time is very quick, especially for Boston. However, this time would only place 10th overall in terms of personal records coming into this race. But again, Boston typically is not as fast as many other races around the world. At the moment, the athlete with the fastest PR in this field is Amane Bariso from Ethiopia, who ran a scintillating time of 2.14.59 in last year's Valencia Marathon, the same race where Kelvin Kiptum broke 2.02. This time is currently more than two and a half minutes faster than anyone else slated to run in this field on the women's side. So if she runs with the same kind of tempo, she will certainly be very difficult to take down. Now, taking a step back and seeing this kind of talent really showcases the potential in this year's Boston Marathon. But to really understand why this is happening, we have to go back to 2022, because that season alone showcases a complete revolution in women's running. In 2022 alone, we saw 24 of the top 50 fastest times ever run over the 26.2 mile distance. That's correct. Out of the top 50 times in women's marathon history, virtually half of them came in 2022. We really have never seen a single event experience such a seismic shift like this in the past. But with many of the all-time greats now shifting to the marathon distance, and with novel technologies getting better and better, we're seeing something truly amazing go down in distance running. Indeed, the prospects of the 2023 Boston Marathon are immense, and this race very well could be a historic moment for this distance. And with so many elite athletes slated to run in this one race, I'll now pass this final question off to you. Who do you think will win the 2023 Boston Marathon, and just how fast will they run? Thanks for watching, everyone, and as always, until next time.